The drivers are tying down the products to the truck. Very important that all the straps are secure. Travis on the right in orange is going over the final route with uh, driver Keith. And you can see it's 7 a.m. and they're already hot and sweaty. Here's a shot of all three trucks loaded and they're still finalizing their preparations to pull out. A nice shot there with uh, three trucks in the manufacturing plant in the background. They still have a few more preparations to do. That's driver David King starting up Freightliner. And of course our logos are, are present on all of our vehicles. And here we go, the uh, box culvert barger convoy is pulling out of the uh, Barger and Sons complex. Gotta be very careful to make sure that you don't overload your trucks and trailers. Each one of these box culverts weigh approximately 58,000 pounds. We have to be careful that we're not over axle weight, we're not overweight, and if we are overweight, in this case which we are, get your proper permits from your DOTs. That's what Travis handles for us. He's our transportation and logistics expert. And as you can see it takes some heavy duty heavy duty trailers and tractors to get these things on down the road. Slash truck is driver Tom. Tom's always in a good mood and has a smile on his face. And away they leave the complex. Here's a nice shot of all three of them with the light bars on, heading down Highway 321 to Interstate 75. We're just five minutes from Interstate 75 and two minutes from Interstate 40. Makes it real, real nice and easy to access the interstate. Here you can see the uh, level and compacted stone base that our customer had prepared. Always important to start with a good foundation. You can see the rebar dowels sticking out of the ends of the box culvert. Those are the outside end pieces. That way they, uh, they elected to pour and place their wing walls. So that's, that's one way to connect the wing wall to the box culvert to make a solid connection there. Right here they're applying a Conceal CS75 Sticky Primer. As you can see it holds the butyl sealant in place without anybody having to hold it up. Here's a nice overview shot. You can see Phil Watson in the gray shirt left hand corner. There's Phil again. He's our install representative. He's out there making sure that the installation go as trouble free as possible. Just a shot of the product on the truck, unstrapped. You can also see the bolt pocket formers that we cast into each box culvert. We also use a mechanical connection, a stainless steel all thread with nut and washer to make sure that each box culvert is uh, pulled together tightly. We use drop deck trailers. Very hot that day is 100 degrees. Everyone was careful to drink a lot of water. Here's a shot of the crane. It's not lifting. It's getting prepared to lift. Here goes the middle section. You can see Phil's right there with them, making sure everything lines up. Everything looks good. Good crane operator makes a job go really, really, really smooth. So that's very important. We And we don't mind one bit to get down into the into the dirt, get dirty, get in the ditch, whatever it takes to make sure that our customers have a nice installation. And you can see the the end the end piece and the middle piece of how the bot poke the bolt pocket formers line up to, to make that mechanical connection. Driver David King in the bottom left hand corner. Again they're applying the C S seventy five getting ready for the last piece of box culvert.
There's driver Tom in the middle left bottom, or the, excuse me, the middle bottom. They're getting ready to unload the last end piece. You can see how when that box culvert is lifted off that trailer, that trailer appreciates it. Our lift pins and lifting equipment such as uh, the, the hooks and the dog bones were supplied by L. Patterson, very good people to deal with. And concrete sealant, sealant, that's the only sealant we'll use at Barger & Sons. We use the highest quality sealant possible. Here's the finished installation. It's a beautiful precast concrete solution. And the great thing about it, it was installed in under one and a half hours. And here's a view from the railroad track. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And please visit us at bargerandsons.com.